Welcome. Today, we're going to look at the nighttime sky. Did you know that you can make shapes out of the stars you see at night? Let's explore the stars together. Are you ready? Wonderful. We'll start during the day, before bedtime, where we can already see one star in the sky right now. Can you see it? That's right, it's the sun, right in the middle of our screen sky here. Now during the daytime, the sun is up and so bright that we can't see any other stars. They are there, but we just can't see them. So to see other stars, let's have time go forward really, really fast. And what do you see happening to the sun as time goes forward really fast? It appears to move across the sky and then set over towards the west. Then what's happening to the sky as the sun sets? It gets darker and darker and the other stars are coming out. Beautiful. Let's look at all these stars. We can see really bright stars even when there are lights from our cities and towns. Some nights we can also see more than just stars. Have you ever seen something else in the night sky? Sometimes we can see the moon or even planets. In the sky on November 23rd, 2020, which we're looking at right now, we can see the moon, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter, all right after sunset. Let's see what phase the moon is in and what shape it looks like. Oh, this night looks like a gibbous moon, a little bit more than halfway lit up. <clears throat> now, if we look around at the stars again, there's some bright stars and there's some dim stars. And it's a bit harder to see the dim stars. We have to get pretty far away from city lights to be able to see them. But even just using bright stars, we can start to make patterns and shapes. Can you imagine connecting the dots with the stars? Why don't you pick a few stars right now and try tracing with your finger what shapes you can find? I can point around with my mouse as well, which is kind of like tracing with my computer finger. I can also show you a few lines to connect the stars for us. Do any of these shapes match some of the shapes that you found? Let's start by looking for a couple of specific shapes. I'm going to look for a square and a circle. If we look over towards the east and really high up in the sky, we can see a big square often called the Great Square of Pegasus. It's called the Great Square of Pegasus to be named after the great big horse that has wings, the winged horse Pegasus. Some people have traced a bunch of stars with their imaginations and they see this winged horse in the sky. Do these stars look like a horse to you? What else do you think it might look like? Right next to the great square, there's also a bit of a squished circle over here. It's a little bit harder to find circles in the sky. Can you find any other circles? And that winged horse is not the only animal people have seen with their imaginations. There are lots of other creatures and shapes that people have made stories about. A lot of the shapes that we look for are in areas of the sky we call constellations. Have you ever looked for a constellation before? Pegasus the winged horse is one constellation that we see pretty well in the fall. In the winter, we can see a lot of stars that are part of constellations with interesting shapes and people in them. I'm gonna have time go for it again and some of these fall constellations are gonna set over in the west. And we're gonna look and see if we can find a few constellations we can see well in the winter. Over here is a constellation called Orion. 
Here are some of the stars in that constellation. What do you think that these look like? Does it look like any particular shape or animal or person? People have imagined more than just the outlines or a picture. They've also imagined stories. The people that came up with this version of Orion named it after the great Greek hunter Orion. Hmm, but if Orion is a hunter, he must be hunting something. What do you think he might be hunting right now? Some people imagined that he's hunting the group of stars right over here. What do you think that might be? In this story, it's the bull named Taurus. But uh-oh, that looks like a pretty big bull. Do you think that Orion is going to be able to fight it and hunt it all by himself? Maybe, he looks pretty tough, but I think it would be better if he had some help. And he must have thought that too, because he does have a couple of helpers behind him all the time, Canis Major and Canis Minor, which means the big dog and the little dog. Now, this is not the only story about the stars in Orion or Taurus or Canis Major or Canis Minor. People all around the world have envisioned different pictures and different shapes and so many incredible stories about these stars. Next time you're able to look at the stars, you can try to find some of your own constellations and make your own stories about them. Orion and the stars around that constellation are easy to see in the winter up in the northern hemisphere, but we don't see the same constellations all year long. Let's jump to a day in the summer and explore which constellations and shapes we can see then. So you can see here, I'm going to change which day we're looking at. So we're going to look at about 11.26 p.m. in July, so July 23rd. And we can see there's different stars up in the sky. At that time, we're starting to be able to see Pegasus because we're starting to get close to fall. But also in the summer, if we look really high overhead, we can see yet another shape, this time a great big triangle, which is often called the summer triangle. This is very easy to find in the summer and has three different constellations that are included with these three bright stars that make the triangle. Over here, we have a constellation called Lyra. What do you think this shape looks like? People in ancient Greece thought that it was looking like a instrument called a lyre, which is why they named it Lyra. We also down here have another very bright star in this grouping. What do you think this set of stars looks like? This one is often called Cygnus after a, a swan named Cygnus. And our third bright star in the summer triangle is in a constellation called Aquila. What do you think this one looks like? Some folks think it looks like an eagle. And remember, these are just one idea of what these stars may look like. There are lots of shapes, creatures, and stories that people have come up with for these same stars. But whether we're looking at the stars in the winter or any other time of year, if we, if we watch the stars long enough, we'll see them as they appear to move across the sky as the night goes by. And as we fast forward really quickly in our imaginary sky, we can look for even more shapes. What shapes can you see as the night goes by? Eventually though, at the end of, the very, at, at the end of every single night, the sun will rise in the east, fading away the light of the other stars, and we'll have to wait another day for the sun to set and for the other stars to shine again. I hope you have a chance soon to go outside on a clear night with few or no clouds and look for some of these shapes and constellations we talked about. Or find new shapes and come up with your own stories and constellations. Either way, 
Thanks for joining me and happy stargazing.